Hi guys, Bogdan is here. And in this video I want to review notebooks that I have been using for software development and for recording of my courses during the last several years. And actually I have used uh, two of those models and uh, this is new one and uh, it is MacBook Pro 16 inch and I have bought it uh, several weeks ago. And uh, honestly after usage of this uh, notebook during the last few weeks I hope that uh, this computer will be my computer of choice for the next uh, few years and I could name it the best notebook for software developer. Actually, let me now quickly review problems that I have had with other computers and uh, next I'll explain you why I think that this computer is the best computer for software development. Let's get started. First of all, let me start with this computer. It is currently being used for recording of this video and the recording of this audio from this microphone. And it is actually my main computer that I have been using since 2013. You are right, you have heard correctly. I have bought it around 6 years ago. It is a MacBook Pro, 16GB of RAM and 512GB of SSD storage. And honestly, it is still really, really powerful and it could be used for all tasks you want, even for video editing and video processing. But uh, the problem I have faced uh, with this computer is that it is not capable of outputting 4K video to this monitor, this LG monitor, at uh, 60 GHz. Maximum refresh rate that I was able to get out of it was around 32 GHz and it is really really low and uh, it actually hurts my eyes and I'm not able to work with monitor at such a low refresh rate. And that's actually the main reason why I have decided to switch it uh, and uh, buy a new laptop. Except this, I didn't have any other problems with this computer and uh, around one year ago I have replaced a battery in it and uh, also there was a problem, I can say, bug with its anti-glare surface and uh, around after one or two months of usage of this computer I got really noticeable scratches on its surface and uh, most of those scratches were actually from keyboard. And uh, after one year or so of usage, this uh, screen surface became completely scratched, completely unusable. And uh, honestly, I thought that uh, it was my fault and uh, I was using the notebook incorrectly. But uh, in several years, actually, I have found out uh, several articles where I was written that it is actually manufacturer bug and uh, Apple replaces uh, screens with new ones. But uh, when I have noticed that uh, this program was over and I was not uh, able to replace my screen with new one free of charge. And afterwards I have actually found a YouTube video where a guy has explained how to completely remove anti-glare surface uh, myself. And actually I have used uh, for that uh, Listerine and um, in around 30 minutes or so I was able to completely remove anti-glare surface and now it looks uh, pretty pretty nice. That's actually this notebook that is really really old but uh, is still very powerful and uh, very useful. Except that I didn't have any other problems, I didn't have any problems with keyboard, uh, trackpad uh, or something else. That's all about this computer and now let me quickly talk about this computer. It is a 13 inch model and uh, actually it is good but uh, it has a buggy keyboard and uh, this computer was once in service and this keyboard was completely replaced with new one and now it seems not to have bugs that it had before. And the bug uh, is probably known for you and uh, it is problem with keys, sticky keys and very often when you type just uh, a word or something else you'll get uh, two or three same letters in a row. And sometimes I wasn't able even to log into the system due to this sticky key. Because actually when key is stuck and it is pressed infinite number of times automatically, you're not even able to enter passwords to get into the system. Also, if I compare this keyboard and this keyboard, I can say that uh, I like this keyboard more. Because actually keys on this keyboard uh, have a scissors mechanism and uh, keys on this keyboard uh, have butterfly mechanism and there is difference uh, in the height of every key and uh, personally I prefer more height uh, keys uh, like on this notebook. Also honestly size of the screen of this computer is really small for me if I work without any external monitor and uh, it is really really hard to read some text uh, on this screen. It is only 13 inch and it is much much better to do it in front of the 15 inch model. 
that's the difference between this computer and this one and again both of them actually have manufacturer bugs so this one with keyboard and this one with anti-glare surface and now let's uh, come to this last model that I recently bought, it is MacBook Pro 16 inch and in this model Apple returned back to scissors mechanism and the uh, height of the keys on the keyboard is the same as on this computer and also you may notice that uh, those arrows here and here are the same and arrows on this uh, notebook are different. And that's actually another problem that I have faced with this computer because I am typing without looking at keyboard and it is really really hard for me to find blindly location of right and left arrows and again this problem was fixed in this computer 16 inch model and of course it also has larger screen size even larger than this computer and of course much larger than this one 13 inch and uh, it seems that uh, it does not have uh, such problems with anti glare surface but again i am not able to talk about it right now i have not got any screen scratches uh, on this computer and uh, i'll try to use it really careful because on both of those computers i have actually got uh, scratches from keyboard and uh, this usually happens when you take your computer into backpack or any bag and take it uh, from one place to another. And if computer most times stands on the desk, you will not get any scratches for sure. That's uh, actually shortly about this uh, notebook and also additionally it has really really nice sound and a better microphone than those two computers. But of course this microphone isn't able to replace uh, such dedicated microphones as I use uh, for recording of my voice for my courses, but uh, it is a really really nice choice for any Skype conversations or Slack calls or something else. Again, that's a quick overview of all computers that I have been using during the last several years and uh, during next year for sure, maybe next uh, three years, I'll use uh, this computer, MacBook Pro 16 inch model and uh, it is 16 GB RAM model and 1 TB of SSD storage and processor is uh, i9 and the price of this computer is around $2800. That's all guys uh, for short review of those computers that I have been using and uh, I hope that you liked it. Uh, please leave a like, subscribe to my channel and uh, in the comment section below please write which computers are you using right now. And I really hope that you are able to afford yourself such computer. If you are able to do so, you will be happy for sure and uh, you will enjoy every day in front of it. I'll see you in the next videos and bye bye.